What are you doing? Well, Rogue released a sideways pegboard. And I've actually had an extra pegboard for a long time that I've been wanting to mount sideways. And I haven't. And now I'm kicking myself in the butt for it. So today we're gonna set it up. We're leaving like 10 days for Rogue, not even. So get it up, try to get some practice in on it and be ready. Should be good. Boys. Locked in. I definitely got sawdust in my eye. Did the last half of that with my eyes closed. <laughs> I was like, uh oh. He has a train today as well. What kind of moisturizer do you use? But it's you should get sponsored by hair products. <laughs> pre-workout shake. Carbs. Some, some salt. Oh, dropped it. That's where it's at. <laughs> and that beta alanine to get that tingle, baby. Pro tip from Matt Fraser that I'm pretty sure a little bit extra. Everyone does now. Beta alanine sales definitely went through the roof once Matt Frazier said, I take beta alanine. And that's why everyone's like, oh my gosh, if I take beta alanine, I'm be as fit as Matt Frazier. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie, what are you doing today? What do you mean? Do whatever I want. No, what are you doing today? Oh, um, I'm going to a golden retriever um, breeder and uh, socializing the puppies. <laughs> Are you bringing beer? No. Are you excited? Yes. <laughs> we might come, I might come home with eight new puppies. <laughs> well, Rogue released their sideways pegboard. That's like three times bigger than that one, but trying to get some practice on it so we don't look like idiots out there, but we'll see. We don't know what the workout is. We just know that we're probably gonna have some sideways pegboard. So we're gonna try to pair it with some skier today and see how hard that is. And also pair it with some weight vest and a ruck. <laughs> and see how hard that makes it. But get some practice on it, get some volume, see if we can figure out something useful. And if I do, I will be sure to not let you guys know. <laughs> but you guys will find out at Rogue if I do well in that event. It'll be because of this session right here. So you guys will be kind of a part of it, but still gotta watch the event be. See, see how much I figure it out. <laughs> Easy peasy. Well, well, let's hope that that was harder than what we'll see <laughs> at uh, 
Rogue. That was good. I mean, definitely did not do that as fast as I wanted, but it's like good work to like, it's like a movement that just getting frustrated and mad at is gonna make it worse. Like, like when you're like maxing out your clean, you can just like get angry and then like lift more. Whereas like this, like the angry you get or like the more frustrated you get, the worse it's like worse that's gonna happen. So that one for me was just like, all right, stay calm. This is probably gonna be harder than anything you do at Rogue. So like use this to try to work out the kinks, figure it out. Like I'd be very surprised if at Rogue it goes smooth sailing. So it was just, I mean, it might not even be this event, you know, like it, there's gonna be a time in a comp where things don't go the way that you want and you gotta be able to respond well to it. So at least that's what I tell myself when I get frustrated <laughs> at training, <laughs> but it was good. Ripped up a little bit, but other than that, not too shabby. Just got a nasty forearm pump. Fast heat laterity. Oh, I felt like it was gonna cramp. <laughs> this is what Dallin's leg felt like during the echo bike. <laughs> uh. All right. Workout one, or technically workout one, two, and three done for the day. One more in this session, then rest time. Got some blood. Yeah. We have another workout Wednesday. We're doing an, another old rogue workout, or at least a version of it. The old one, I think I actually did it. I'll have to go back and see uh, what my time was, but it's three rounds. The actual road workout was three rounds, 20 dumbbell snatch at 100 pounds, and eight deficit strict handstand pushups. But today I'm cutting back on the dumbbell snatches, so I'm doing like 12 dumbbell snatches, eight strict handstand pushups for three rounds with the 100. Pipe ball foam roller. All right guys, we got another workout Wednesday. This is week two, and we're doing another Rogue Invitational repeat workout. They've done it twice, once in 2019, once in 2022. They did three rounds of 20 dumbbell snatches at 100, nine deficit strict handstand pushups with the pair of let bars. Uh, there's a four inch deficit, and they did three rounds of that today. We're doing the same thing, but I'm only doing 12 dumbbell snatches. So a little bit less than the dumbbell snatches, still work on the handstand pushups. Handstand pushups are a little bit harder for me. I'm a lot more comfortable with the, hand or with the dumbbell snatch. So I normally do a rehearsal round before I do um, go into a workout, like right before they call us in the staging, I like to do um, a quick back and forth between the movements that we're gonna do. So today we got dumbbell snatch into handstand pushups for three rounds. So I'm probably just gonna do a quick, like two dumbbell snatches, four, um, deficit strict handstand pushups, like three or four of them. And then I'll hop on the bike for like a minute, trying to get the heart rate up, cool down, and then hit it.
nice little Pokeball, you know? Ooh, that place is pretty bomb. It really is. Yeah. Um, what are we doing today? That's a good question, Dallas. I, I have um, lots of good questions. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what we're doing today. Tuesday, October 29th, 2024. Yep. We're going to um, build to openers. So one thing that I think is, you know, worth thinking about in that last 10 day lead up to big competitions is, and is also fun and easy, low tax system, is just build up to that back squat, uh, deadlift and bench openers. I mean, some, I mean, he's super good at it. It's not a crazy ask. Um, he'll do his warm ups and then he's basically gonna take five singles up to what would be an opening weight in a competition, um, be it CrossFit or crafting anything else. So just to paint the picture, get an idea of about where we're standing these days and set the tone, build a little confidence for if a one rep max came up, that's inside of the screen. Even if it's something else, just based off of those, you can start to um, get a pretty good idea of where that athlete's at for broad spectrum one RMs. Sick. Yeah, yeah. You're just, you're too cool, Jesse. Mm. Am I though? Hey, I heard you dropped a pretty cool podcast. <laughs> At least the episode. You know what? Almost a hundred people listen to it. Oh. Does it count yeah, my right. my half of you? Yeah, you're half of you. Yeah, it totally does. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Am I still the only one that's commented? Yeah. Yeah, at least almost 100 people have listen to some part of it. All right, all right. I got, I got yeah, just to the right teamwork part, and then I realized I'm a terrible lifting partner, so I just quit listening because I felt bad. <laughs> it just made you're like, you know what? I did disagree. <laughs> yeah. no. I'm just, I'm too busy on camera that I can't even be a good lifting partner, so. Yeah. Let's see. Trying to give yeah. people something to think about, not telling them what to think or what to do. Just, hey, here's some things. Here's Maybe some things. Spending a little bit of time considering. Yeah. I'm going to go be a good training partner and hit a rep real quick. Yeah. What do you want? Next weight? Yeah. 405. That's your next weight? Well, I've already hit 295, 355. Wow. I'm on top of it today, Dallas. Why? Justin's on one today. I don't like my training sessions to go longer than like three hours. Ready to see the fastest 405 you guys have ever seen in your life. Let's see it. Let's do it again. I thought something was wrong. When he came off, I was like, uh, you good? It's pretty good. Remember not to, remember to be the extra smooth when you deal with those blue cars and the plate stack out the side? Cause it's just got so much. He's gotta use it, Jesse. I just, I charge it up at the top. <laughs> Yeah, and then build it. Yeah. yeah. You gambit. Yeah. Well, that's what okay. you get by training us with the tsunami bar. Yeah, I know. I'm used to it now. I'm just trying to tsunami bar this thing. <laughs> we only can use this clip if I make this weight look really easy, but the second fittest man in the world, I think, hit this the other day for a PR. So I'm just building up to my last warm up today and see how it feels. I think it's 475. I think he PR'd. 475, so we'll see. Well, let's give it a shot today, and hopefully I can move it. <laughs> Ooh. It's okay. It's an okay lift. <laughs> Alright, here we go, Dallas. Okay. Arch, arch, arch. Arch, 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 arch. 
Yeah! Man, you really just wanted to get that close to 500 and not do it? I don't even think I hit depth, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I still gotta make it through the thing so I can <laughs> How was that? What'd you just do? Oh my god. <laughs> the I did eight rounds, 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds just standing there. Um of belt march. Easy peasy? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you still sitting down right now? <laughs> <laughs> they just <laughs> no, just deadlifting. Oh. And I got little baby blisters. I know. Poor me, right? It's okay, guys. I will survive. I think. <laughs> Doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt at all. Doesn't hurt at all. I haven't done these in a minute. So good. My hamstrings feel so fresh right now. I love it. See another max deadlift. So Justin's easy ab finisher of the day. Yeah. We're gonna do a little interview while we do it. <laughs> I don't think Nelson's gonna be able to interview though. I, I'm gonna take some breaks. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Your butt. We got uh, four rounds of 30 second left arm plank, then 30 second like plank with both arms and, and that will do leg lifts. And then we'll do right arm plank and for 30 seconds and then back to the middle plank for 30 seconds. So that is two minutes per round and we're doing four of them. And the goal's not what, when's, the, when's the rest? No rest. <laughs> the rest is after the eight minutes. Okay, how about, how about I do three on the fourth thing I rest for 30 seconds? No, <laughs> I say we just go until you fail and then you can take 30 seconds off. What if I fail every round? <laughs> <laughs> You'll just fail every minute 30. <laughs> All right, Theo, See, stop biting awesome my arms. Yeah, there's also an obstacle of avoiding Theo He's biting your side hands. plank right now. Yeah, That's, this is side plank, Theo? Yeah, guys. All right, let's do it. 10 seconds. You start with left arm plank. I start with right. <laughs> that way we can face each other. For part of it? Yeah. And then we'll face away from All each right, other. Hey, that's it, we're done. Theo, hey, get out of here. Ellie, call your dog. Get out of here, Theo. Yeah. <laughs> he's in, yeah, he's really in it. <laughs> Ow. No, Theo. Dad, hey, this is time to play. No, no, no. no. This is play time, Dad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my weight on him. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> How's that, Theo? <laughs> 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 and that's round one, Dallas. It was easy. Yeah, it was easy. You don't look like you're working too hard. I'm not working at all. So, Justin, how long have you been doing CrossFit? Oh my gosh. It's 12 years. You're a lot older than you think you are, huh? 2012 I started. Remember when you thought you were like a young guy? Yeah, I guess I'm the old guy. <laughs> I've known CrossFit longer than I think Pat has. <laughs> Theo. Longer than Pat? I think I've been doing it longer. I'm definitely not older than Pat. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Theo. 
Up a sweat. It looks like cardio. It looks really easy. <laughs> Just make it look hard for Justin's sake. Keeps him humble, you know? Sponsored by Rain. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make another protein shake. You know what it is. But, while I was training, I think. This is the new Noble stuff that's waterproof. Yeah, I saw a video they posted like promoting it that, oh, it's not it. Ugh. It's coming. This is my stuff for Rogue though, so. These are my cute outfits that I'm, I have coming for Rogue. <laughs> but what it is, or what I was hoping it was, they have their new, uh, it's like sweatshirt, sweatpants and stuff, and like the girl just like runs, she dives into the ocean, she comes out, and she like does this, and it's all dry. It's crazy, but it's gonna be nice in Ireland, or not Ireland, Scotland, because for one, it's gonna be cold, and I think it's gonna be pretty rainy. But anyways, when that comes, I will show you guys, but for now. We'll have to test it. Have to in the cold plunge or something. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> Once I get it, I'll hop in the cold plunge and I'll show you guys that commercial because it's sick. We'll actually see if it's true because it doesn't feel like that's possible. Mm. That is another day in the life. We did another workout Wednesday, did some strength training, a couple workouts. We posted the workout Wednesday, like I said, and honestly, it wasn't too competitive of a time, but get on there, log the scores, someone beat me. We had nobody log it last time, but we're not giving up. We're doing these workout Wednesdays till the end of time as of right now, but uh, we'll keep putting them out. Tell me what we can do better since no one did the workout. Uh, let us know what you guys wanna see, but for now, please give the workout a try and I think our next video will be Rogue. So I'll be vlogging my way there and hopefully getting back on that podium, so. Side chat. It's a brand new day.